Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use conditional formatting to present information in a more user-friendly way. What I want to do is get this uh, information about be, whether a student's passed or needs a retake to be color coded so it's visually um, more striking to the user. It helps me really pinpoint who I need to look at. The way you do that is use this conditional formatting tool. So I'm going to just click on that first cell and go to conditional formatting and go to manage rules. Now you should see that there are no rules uh, yet. So we're going to click on new rule and we're going to make a new rule. This time I'm going to go to format cells that contain and I'm going to select specific text. Now you could choose a cell value or any of these options but for this specific tutorial we're going to click on specific text. If it's containing the word past then I'm going to format this cell to turn green. So I'm going to go to fill and I'm going to select it to go green. Click OK. Click OK again and I'm going to add another rule. Again we're going to go to format only cells that contain. We're going to go to specific text and this time we're going to say retake and this time we're going to make it go like a reddish colour. Let's not make it so red though. Something about that. There we go. Click OK and then click OK again and I'm going to apply it. Now this one cell has turned green so what I want to do is apply that conditional formatting to all of these. Because I used an if statement in here and I used absolute cell references then I can just drag this down and it'll apply that conditional formatting to all of them. And I can see now from here that I have got four passes and three retake students very easily. And that's it, that's the end of this tutorial.